buddy, my name is Starlord. Welcome to today's video where I am going to be showing you guys how you can actually duplicate precious resources in LEGO Fortnite. Um, as of the 27th of December 2023, this glitch is currently still working, but I do feel like Epic are going to be patching this in the next kind of quick patch or hot patch, whatever you want to call it, but I feel like they're going to patch it. So what I thought I'd do is make a little video on how to actually do this just for you guys out there who are struggling. Now, as you can see, I'm already in game right here, and specifically today, the resources that we're going to be duplicating are Blast Cores, Bright Cores, and Obsidian Slabs. But, this technique actually works with a load more items. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be doing these ones because Bright Cores are extremely difficult to get right now in LEGO Fortnite until they make it that they respawn in caves. So, without further ado guys, let's get into the video. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go into a safe area where no kind of zombies or skeletons or whatever you want to call them can actually touch me. I've got a lot of my place enclosed in fences, uh, so hopefully they shouldn't come in here and try and attack me. And what we want to do, guys, is away from any buildings, we want to build a little shack that just looks quite similar to this one right here. So what I personally find is three walls and then a little roof on top. Now, specifically for this guide, we are going to need these items right here. So 35 obsidian slabs, uh, 15 bright cores, and 3 blast cores. But, as I said, this works with quite a lot of items, and I will explain that in a second. But as of right now, we're going to be duplicating the metal smelter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the metal smelter from my uh, utility tab, and we're actually going to place it right here in game at the very back of this little wall right here. Now, the purpose of these walls is that once we break this down and the resources pop out, they stay within a confined area where we can actually freely pick them up without having to run around like crazy and try and pick up this, that, and the other, and it's quite easy. So, what we're going to do is get really close to it, look all the way down, and we're going to hit the metal smelter. So, one, two, three, four, and five. And what should happen is it should destroy, we're going to press start, go all the way down, and then we're going to leave the server. Now, whilst we've got a loading screen right now, guys, I actually want to just kind of throw out some information for you guys so that you don't get confused. But if you've actually got a friend in the server at the time of trying to do this glitch, it won't work. You have to be the only person in the server. Um, but now we're back in the main menu. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that same world right now. And depending on how the game is feeling today, we're either going to see a matchmaking error or it's going to let us get straight into the actual game itself. Now, if it does pop up a matchmaking error of some sort, don't worry about it, guys. Just try and join in again. After about two attempts, it will let you get back into the game perfectly fine without any problems whatsoever. The only thing you need to worry about is whether you picked up all your resources and whether you quit out of the game quick enough for the glitch to actually work. But again, like I said, make sure that you have no other friends in the server because if they do, then it won't actually allow the server to get confused and duplicate the items. It will stay open, you know, constantly and you don't want that you want the server to shut down and then to open back up again once you join in and that is actually what tricks the game into thinking that your metal smelter that you just destroyed is actually still there so as you can see we've got a metal smelter and if i go into my inventory i actually still have all of these items right here that i use to create this metal smelter now just to show you an example if i destroy this again without leaving the game you should actually see that the resources in my pocket now have duplicated. So yes, it has actually duplicated those resources. Hmm. So what we would continuously do right now is we pop up open our build menu, we'd get our melted smelter again, and we would just continue to keep on doing this exact technique over and over hmm. again. Yes, it is time consuming, but so is going around the desert looking for 50 million freaking caves to just get some bright cores. So what I would say, guys, is like I said at the start of the video, do not waste your opportunity to do this glitch while it is still active. Now, if you are still watching and the glitch is patched, then check back home on my channel. If it's been a little while, maybe somebody else has found out a guide on how to actually do it, or I've discovered a new way on how to actually duplicate. I'm quite handy when it comes to glitches, and I'm hoping that this one will be around for a long time. Um, and also, I was saying that there is more items that you can duplicate. 
That's correct. Basically, a lot of the items that you use to create these stations can be duplicated. In my opinion, you don't really need to do a lot of them because things like marble slabs, rough amber, they're quite easy to actually obtain. But things like bright cores, copper bars, no, you need to get on this as soon as possible. Already, I've only been doing this glitch only a little while, actually, to be honest. And what I've done is I've already accumulated a crap ton of bright cores. I've already got lots of iron and I've already got lots of copper bars. And specifically, I'm just saving those copper bars so I can create more pickaxes or more swords out of copper bars and just storing them away. Uh, because, again, it's just difficult to get these resources at the minute because... It's quite difficult. They don't respawn, or, well, they don't as much as they should do. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, that has pretty much been it for today's video. I do hope that it was easy to follow, very informative, and got to the right to the point. If it did help you out and you did enjoy it, please leave a like on the video. And also, if you aren't already, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of LEGO Fortnite videos, um, including ones on how to actually construct buildings just like mine right here. Mine looks like a little lived-in town. It's also got like a little lakeside area. Um, it's quite a nice little build. And I'm actually going to be doing guides on how you can make similar builds on your game. So if that's something that you want to get in on, please feel free and I will be happy to post more videos. Um, other than that, guys, hope you guys have a really good day. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see you.